Israeli troops shot dead three Palestinians who wounded three soldiers in stabbing attacks. The surge in violence between the two sides, it's been going on since September. It has claimed the lives of over 100. How each side views the conflict is drastically different. And as CCTV Stephanie Fried reports, media coverage has influenced that. First, a warning, though. You may find some of the images hard to watch. Dramatic footage of a Palestinian attacking Israeli police. Same location, different knife-wielding Palestinian. In Israel, they are branded terrorists. Images of their lifeless bodies go viral on social media networks. Among Palestinians, they are termed martyrs for the cause. The Israeli forces who quote-unquote neutralize them are criticized for excessive use of force by Palestinians and lauded as heroes by Israelis. That it has an agenda. And in fact, when the I conflict of images, portrayals, and narratives is Atta Kaimari's job. He scours the Hebrew press and decides what to print in Palestine's most popular newspaper. When you glorify such people and when you give them the title of heroes, so this this is uh, this is not only incitement; it's it's crime. <laughs> This gruesome aftermath scene of a young Palestinian knifer went viral among both Israelis and Palestinians. In the background, an Israeli bystander shouts, shoot him in the head. <laughs> Israeli police were accused of excessive force in subduing this 29-year-old woman. Notice the headlines in Palestinian versus Israeli press about the incident. Israelis mourn a victim. Palestinians bury a shaheed, or martyr. One prominent Israeli watchdog group director says Palestinian incitement is systematic and promoted from the top down. This is not a simple act of incitement uh, that just slipped through by some announcer. We are talking about the leadership using the television, using the newspapers as a means to get out their message that they want Israelis killed. The narrative in the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a reflection of the gaping chasm between the sides. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Jerusalem.